So in this um, topic, we are going to consider the count function of Excel. And thereafter, we are going to also consider another special function called the count A function. Right, now we are going to see what count function is all about in Excel. Count functions returns the count of numeric values. Please take note of this important point. Count function returns the count of numeric values. In this particular case, we have this data which we already prepared and we've been using initially to work on our data. We have the first name and this first name, all the values here are in strings. Okay, in programming we call it strings. The last name are in strings. Now for the scores, the scores are in digit and they are numeric values. And then the results are all in strings. Okay, now for us to apply count function here, count function is going to work on the score column. Okay, now for us to count the numeric values here, you are going to use the count function starting with your equal sign and then using count. Open your bracket. Now you have to select the whole range of values here and hit enter. So therefore, we have seven. And you can begin to count from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, if you happen to delete a value here, let's delete this value here. You will notice that the value here has returned to six. If you delete one here, it has reduced to five. So count function doesn't count spaces, maybe in a column, or if you select the range of values and later eliminate some values, it counts only the values that are present. In this case, one, two, three, four, five. So there are five digits here. Now, let's return back to how our data was. Now, we've looked into the count function in Microsoft Excel. So all numbers that include negative values percentages, dates, fractions, and times are counted when you are using this count function. So empty cells and text values are usually ignored. Empty cells, as we saw in that case, they are usually ignored when using that. So we've already seen um, this count function and how it works. And we are going to also see the count A function. And this count A function, it considers numbers and also considers text. Next step, for example, we are going to work on this our row, our row two. Now we are going to use a function which is count a. Remember to always add the a there, and then open your brackets, select the range from here to here, and then close it and hit enter. Now Excel computes the value to be four. Why? This is because the count a function considers both the string and also the numbers. In this case, it counted Kenneth, Ben, 92, and Pass. So it counted both the whole strings and also it counted the number here to give us the value of 4. And also remember, even when after you must have selected an empty cell here, Excel did what is skipped it. It doesn't count empty cells. So this is all about the count and the count A functions in Microsoft Excel. Whenever you want to get the total or unique ID or to count numeric values or text, do make sure that you use the count or the count A functions of Excel. So thank you very much. And I'm expecting to see you in our next topic.